Hey, this is Pastor Jerry Maynard of Cathedral of Praise. So glad you joined us for this episode of Soul Success, where we talk about how do you make sure that you are living in your divine purpose, your divine destination, and you feel really good about yourself. That on a scale of one to 10, you love yourself, you're at the 10 level. If you like yourself from one to 10, you're at the 10 level. And that's why we have soul success. Because we understand having the trophies of success is one thing, but having true success is that when you know that you are good with who you are and you're good with God. Today, I want to talk to you about being in the moment, being in the moment. One of the reasons why I've been successful here in Nashville, Tennessee and wherever I've been is because I began at the age of 13 of being in the moment. What do you mean by that? My mother used to take me to Parade of Homes. And at that time, if you don't know what Parade of Homes is, that's when you would go to all of these fancy big homes and they would have tours of the home and they would invite the public to come see these gigantic like mansions and or modern homes. Now, when we went, we didn't have any money and there was no way we could afford to be in that house. In fact, there was no way that we could get financing to be in that house and we had no intention on buying the house. But what my mother wanted to do is she wanted to get me exposed to a, 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 a beautiful home that one day I could have for me to be in the moment, to see myself in that home, to understand what they are. So it's not a stranger to me. It's not foreign to me, but rather I'm in the moment of saying I could one day have this house. Part of my success is not just having a vision, but also literally experiencing the moment. And when I had gone and said, I want to have certain things or desires in my heart, I always took these three steps. Number one, I asked myself, why do I really want that desire? What will it really do to fulfill me on the inside? Number two, how do you go and get it? What's required to get it? And then number three, to go experience it before I get it. There was a, a dealership, a Mercedes-Benz dealership, that I would go to all the time. I was not in the market to buy a car, couldn't afford the Mercedes. But you know what I went and I did? I would go there and I would sit in that car and in that moment I saw myself. I could feel the leather, I could feel it, I could see it, but um, most importantly, I experienced it. So it was no longer foreign to me. This can be mine, this can happen. Now the question becomes, how do I go get it? There was a famous uh, design furniture store that I used to go to once a week on Saturdays. I go get my coffee, go get my newspaper, and then I would go there, I knew the owners, and they would welcome me in and say, hey, we got this thing in, we got this thing in. I didn't buy furniture every week that I went in there, but I went in there to sit on the couch. I went in there to feel the leather. I went in there to see what they had. And then you know what? Someday, that furniture went on sale. And when that furniture went on sale, guess who was there to buy it? Because I had already figured out why I wanted it, I figured out how I needed to get it, and then I figured out I'm going to get it. And because I was there all the time, I knew the owners, but I also knew myself. I knew what I desired, I knew why I wanted it, and then I just had to have the vision and the moment to understand it could be mine. There is something about being in the presence of that which you want. Because a lot of times we feel that these things are not obtainable, that they're not within our reach. It's because it's foreign to us. We haven't experienced it. I had the same type of thought when I went to the White House for the first time. When I went to the White House for the first time over 20 years ago, I was nervous. I was a little scared. Oh my God. But I've been to the White House now 10 times. And you know what? The last few times I went, no big deal. I've been in the White House before. I belong here. I belong in the White House. I fit here. It's no longer foreign to me. And because I visioned myself and saw myself in the White House, I knew I belong because I captured the moment before that happened. I want you to do the same thing and I challenge you today. If you know that there's a desire in your heart, whatever that desire is, whether it be a home or a car, whether it be furniture, it doesn't matter, jewelry, a watch, artwork, go to the art place. Walk around like you belong. Don't act like, well, I don't have the money. I don't belong. Yes, you do. Go to a parade of homes. Go see an open house for a home that you can't even afford right now. That, that, it would blow your mind if you ever had it. You know what it will do for you? It will get you in the mindset that this is obtainable. It is within my reach. I am here. And it takes away that anxiety that you don't belong. Yeah, you do. And it can be yours. Vision plus capturing the moment lets you know it's obtainable. That's how you get success. I'm Jerry Maynard with Soul Success. I challenge you this week 
Go and lay your hands on something. Touch it, feel it, claim it, and say that one day will be mine. Be blessed.